It is a state law that puts a limit on fairness, but now, thanks to our Target 8 investigators and a state senator from Grand Rapids, that law is on the way out. Target 8 investigator Henry Herb is here right now to tell us what this is all about. He's been tracking it for six years now, Henry. Now, you might remember this. this first reported this in, in 2007, and today, finally, six years later, the Senate passed a bill that would fix a law that one state senator has called shameful. Now it moves on to the House of Representatives commented that our taxes seemed really high. That was John Stitzel in 2007. His taxes were too high. The city of Grand Rapids was billing him for property tax as if his home was a rental property, not a single family home, which can be taxed at a lower rate. It was the city's mistake. The Stitzels figure they overpaid by nearly $9,000, but they were able to get back only about 3700 That's because of a state law that allows property owners to recover mistakenly collected taxes for only three years. The mistake went on for seven years, and the Stitzels were out nearly $5,000. It's unbelievable, and it's actually shameful. And so um, I'm drafting legislation to change the law. And then State Representative Dave Hildenbrand's attempts to fix the law failed. But now, six years later, Hildenbrand is in the state Senate and is trying again, this time with more success. We keep track of the things we work on, and, and as elections change and we get new people, we. We sometimes pursue old issues that we just couldn't get traction on with new people and fortunately in this case it looks like we're getting some traction and, and hopefully we get this righted. Today Orders the Senate passed his bill 35 to nothing and it goes now to the, the House of Representatives of for approval. John Stitzel says he's happy Hildenbrand didn't give up. Stitzel himself became part of the process testifying at a Senate hearing. And this has given me a kind of a restored faith, a renewed faith that you know when there is a wrong that takes place. Uh, there is really a, a way to go about addressing it, and it may take time, but if you stick with it and are organized, uh, the changes can happen, good changes. Senator Hildebrand says he knows of only a handful of homeowners who have been unable to get full refunds because of the time limit, but says it is worth fixing because it's about making something right.